Hello, I'm Dr. Herman again, and welcome back for another video where we're going to share with you in this one, I'll share with you in this one, excuse me, how your body can have uh, a, a, an inflammatory and, and toxic pattern that's going on inside that doesn't allow your body to feel and function normal. Let's understand something, first of all, that your body is the sum of all of its parts. We can't take your liver out and have your body run normal. You can't take both kidneys out and make your body run normal. You can't just take the thyroid out and make your body run normal. We can't cut off the brain and make your body run normal. Your body is the sum of all of its parts. So we've got to understand that when we get toxins in our system, these parts may not function properly. And most of the time, people who come in my office, they've never heard of these toxins. They don't even realize uh, because they're listening to the medical model all the time that it's all in the pill or they go for some type of uh, colonic or they take a detoxification so-called remedy from their vitamin store, their nutrition store, their uh, farmer's market store. We've got to understand that there are various things that are going on in the body. We need to understand exactly, exactly what it takes for you to remedy them. So there's something called aflatoxin. And aflatoxin is a, uh, is a toxic element that comes from certain foods that you're eating or most likely eating, or maybe you ate them in the past and you went all vegetarian, maybe that's you. But look at this. Aflatoxin causes liver inflammation and liver detoxification problems. It causes systemic inflammation. How do you get to this? Well, there could be certain foods that you're eating Nuts, especially peanuts, seeds, corn, rice, soybeans maybe, and you're eating, if you're doing soy milk, if you're eating tofu, if you're eating soy chips, because you think that soy is the right protein, because that's how they're marketing it to you. You've got to understand there's a little more here. And specific products and steps are required to best protect your body, your liver, and your blood. Aflatoxin has been linked to cancer. Aflatoxin has been linked to systemic inflammation. When you're buying the peanuts or the peanut butter that you're eating, and we all grew up on, well, I did, I know all my friends did when I grew up, eating peanut butter, that it has a fungus on it, and the fungus produces this aflatoxin. You want to look this up? Go ahead and type into Google aflatoxin and learn. And that could be part of your condition. Maybe you're suffering because you have this aflatoxin stuck in your liver and your liver can't rinse your blood properly and you can't detoxify your tissues properly. Remember, your liver is the filter for the blood, the filter for your body. How often do you change the air filter in your air conditioner? Once a month, once every couple of months? When was the last time you changed your liver? What if you went with your air filter and you never changed the air filter in the house for 30, 40, 50 years? What happens if you never change your liver for 30, 40, 50 years? Or maybe you're, maybe you're somebody who's 15 years old or 16 years old and feeling all of the stress. Your body's not functioning normal. Maybe because you had toxins in your system ever since your parents first started feeding you without, and we're not blaming them. The food, the FDA, the, 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 the companies that are giving us the food to buy in this country can be making you very sick. So aflatoxin may be one of them, and if it is, we need to figure that out, and we need to be able to strip that out of your body and help your body start to feel better. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to sharing more with you on this website.